How to Pack a Ring in Rubber and Vulcanize It. First, we cut a space for the sprue former out of two pieces of raw rubber. This rubber has not been vulcanized. It's quite soft and sticky. You can see it has blue plastic on one side and a white paper-like uh, substance on the other side. It keeps the rubber nice and clean while you're packing your rubber mold. You want to keep the rubber as clean as possible. There's the ring model. It has a Y-shaped sprue on it. I sprued to the thickest part of the ring shank to try and encourage progressive solidification of the wax and also the metal when it flows into the ring. So you line up the two pieces of rubber and press it down, trying to get all the rubber to stick together. You'll find that the rubber is quite sticky. It's a very friendly substance. It likes to stick to things. So you try to keep your fingers off of the rubber as much as you can, uh, tacking it or stitching it together using a, an old mold knife, doing your best not to push the mold knife handle up against the metal of the model. You can scratch it quite badly and of course those scratches will end up in your mold and therefore end up in your castings. So I'm placing pieces of rubber on the outside of the ring mold. My strategy there was to have only two pieces of rubber touching the ring. That way I'm only going to have one seam going around the whole edge of the ring. Now the way we're making this mold, the seam will knit and flow together so that there's no seam visible. But sometimes if you have lots of seams, lots of little pieces of rubber around the edge of the ring model, you can end up with maybe some oil from your skin or a little dirt from your hand or something and that will cause a seam to appear in the rubber which of course then gets um, then it comes out in in the waxes that you inject into that mold so I put these two pieces in here to fill uh, more spaces in the mold you notice that I'm packing these extra bits of rubber where I want to apply more pressure, like at the top of the ring and also in the center of the ring. It's going to allow more wax, or rather more rubber, to uh, uh, flow in and around the, the ring when we start to heat it in the vulcanizer. Of course, vulcanization is um, what causes the sulfur that's mixed in with the synthetic and natural rubbers. Uh, it causes them to uh, uh, crystallize in a way and uh, not be so sticky anymore. It uh, binds up all the molecules. Here's six layers of rubber. We're making an eight layer mold. So I'm going to add two more layers of rubber. And you notice the outside layer. This time I'm leaving the white paper on the outside. I'm taking the soft plastic off and I'm leaving the white paper on the outside. The white paper won't stick to the platen, to the surfaces of the vulcanizer. And so it'll make it much easier for you to get your mold out after the vulcanization process. You can see the sprue sticking out there at the end. And now I'll push a brass sprue former onto that sprue to maintain that nice cup shape to push the uh, wax nozzle into. Here you see eight pieces of rubber, just a little bit thicker than the actual mold frame. This is a double mold frame. I'm going to go ahead and pack another mold, and we'll put the other mold in this mold frame. So there it is, the two molds together, ready to go in the vulcanizer. Uh, the next shot shows uh, temperature, the uh, pyrometer measuring the temperature at the bottom, on the bottom platen of the vulcanizer. So I move the uh, wire out of that hole and into the center of the platen and you'll see that the center of the platen is a much higher temperature. It's 320 instead of 301 degrees. So we just we try to get 307 degrees is the perfect temperature. Um, 
you know, if you're a little higher or a little lower, well, then it's not perfect, but it'll probably work. Notice that I lightly tightened uh, the platens, and then you can see a little bit of an edge along there where I've pointed with the knife. Um, notice I'm gentle. Now here you can see that after I've tightened these down, tightened the platens down, that the rubber begins to squeeze out. I'm going to show you a picture in a little while near the end of the vulcanization process uh, to give you an idea of how much uh, sticks out. So um, 434, it's at 434 in the afternoon plus six um, minutes for the rubber to heat up, I tighten it down at 440. And then I'm going to vulcanize it for one hour because the mold is one inch thick. Here we are uh, loosening the vulcanizer. We've got a nice pair of pliers that uh, pry out the mold. And there's your pieces. You can see the rubber uh, sticking out of the pressure release holes at either, uh, either side, as well as uh, uh, plenty of rubber around the edges of the mold. So the next video shows how we cut this mold and clean it up, prepare it for wax injection. Thanks for watching. I hope you'll keep your eye on my little YouTube station here and uh, keep coming back to see more, more good jewelry videos.